Okay, by the way, you guys, you know that I just put up a video a little while ago, right? No. Yeah. Okay, so I just put up a little video, and all it is is starting to talk about refining and maybe trying different ideas for like the frames and the shapes and your approach to it. Now, it could be full color. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but I was kind of going over one that was just like broken edge frames, um, maybe natural edge frames, um, working uh, one value, like that kind of thing, okay? Mm -hmm. If it's going to be color, then it's going to be color. Okay, that's a little different. But um, I'm just trying to look at different economical ways because I'm kind of looking at this. If you're doing a graphic novel, it could be actually really um, a lot of pages, right? So you'd have to go into some sort of economical way of doing it, okay? There's Godfrey. He made it. We have been here. No, like no, no. the past couple of weeks. Were you here last week? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember you being here last week. I got to make sure that you're on my list then. I thought you took the screenshot. I did. If, oh, okay, uh, I'll, okay. double, I'll double check it. It's fine. Where, sure. uh, okay. So let me look a little bit real quick. Is Megan here? I don't see her. That's a nice switch. Switch what? Oh, nothing. Okay, hang on. Uh, is Rachel here? Yes. Okay, so I'm looking at these. Hang on. Let me open this. Let me get my, um, usually I have this set up. But... Okay. Okay, hang on. Who's 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 mics on? Okay, better. All right, I'm gonna open this one. Oops. Mute that mic. Uh, Mike, I think you can mute everyone. Actually, I don't want to mute everybody. You don't want to force the mute? <laughs> no, I just because everybody's been really good about that where they just kind of hit that and then when they talk, they just pop it on. Uh, you're too democratic. Yeah, probably. I don't know how much I've been ever accused of that. Okay, so I've got Rachel here. Okay. I still think now. From a design, there's a couple of things here. From a design perspective, I'm going to share my screen with you. Hang on. Okay. Okay. So you guys can see my uh, Rachel's work, right? Yeah. Okay. I still think, and at this point, I think you have enough stuff here where you can start to refine, but I think, which is what I started talking about in my video today, but it still needs, this is still real hard geometry. I also think this isn't making that statement enough um, of coming around that precariously coming around that corner. I mean, that thing needs to be, this thing needs to be, you know, sort of up on two wheels, barely staying on the road, right? Mm -hmm. That makes sense? And then this stuff has to feel like this is coming off, you know, like it makes sense. Right now it's just all over the road, which doesn't tell me a whole lot about it. And also what I would start doing at this point Does that make sense? I could even go a little further with that. 
Okay, then have this kind of, you know, this edge, this sort of organic edge. Make sure that's in front of that. I might have this, this continuing up onto some distant, you know, way out there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The other thing now, I'd start doing some pages where I would just take, you know, this and start designing this. Like this is actually going to tilt up a little bit. It's going to come out. This curves a little. You know, you can go with a really high, let's do this, really high, you know, push that car design. Does that make sense? So it really feels designed. Mm -hmm. Oops. What did I end up drawing on the wrong layer? Okay, hang on. Wow. Ah. Somebody's mic's unmuted. All right, this same thing here with this. With this stuff. This stuff has to all be super designed. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like it's getting more designed. And then, you know, how are these guys going to be handled, right? Mm -hmm. And this, you know, everything has to be designed, whatever that design is, right? It doesn't always have to be, um, uh, you know, realistic or anything. But everything you want to push, just like here, this car right here, like we talked about, you need to push this. Because it says, this. Uh, I hope our tires can take it. I need to know why that's going on or what, why you're saying that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. All right, I gotta stop playing with the car. Um, here, like these guys, I know they're just for placement, but how, how are you gonna handle this all um, stylistically? What do you mean in terms of stylistically? Well, I mean, I mean, I know these aren't finished guys right here, but like this, you know, is a stick figure kind of thing, right? Is it gonna be, um, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it's how it's stylized, right? Like kind of what are you going for? I feel like I don't want the background to be like super distracting. No, it I should be. I want it to really be focused on like the vehicles and like the like silliness of the, how different the vehicles are. Uh -huh. so maybe just more of like a really basic design for the guys in the background and like the trees That's fine. and stuff. All right, but we're gonna pull them out of this stick figure idea, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, same thing with the fire though, like, you know, hyper design that fire, uh, fire, everything should be hyper designed. Okay. Whatever that design is. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You know, and get that, make sure that they like, make a little, you can make a little ellipse around here, the fire pit, right? And then, you know, build your rocks around that. Okay. Color-wise and all that, how are you going to do it? Um, I was thinking of sticking to like three different like shades of green. Um, okay. So I have like a value scale, but still within green. So it's kind of. Basically what I just put up online, the little refinement thing. It's like a little, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's like a half hour maybe. That's what that is. Okay. So, and there's, and I was just starting, what I was trying to do there is I did, I had no intention or no, uh, prior thought about it, I just went in and started going for it the way I would, right? Kind of go, hey, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. And I'm doing that all just sort of with these rough drawings. And then I go, okay, I know how I'm refining it now. I know I'm going to handle the color, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. we, what you got to do now, though, is just design the hell out of this page. Like refine it and design it, okay? Do you have any recommendations on perspective? Because that's one of the hard things that I'm running into is like on the cars, they really do have like angles that you have to get right. 
And I feel like I'm struggling with that. I'm going to send you, uh, there's, I, I brought this book in before I brought, you know, that, that book I always bring in with a bear in it. Mm -hmm. If you look at that, there is no perspective in that book. Hmm. Okay. Like he'll do the picnic table literally like that mm -hmm. facing you. Right. Like when you, when you take it out of the context of like, I'm not trying to make this in perspective. This is a total design thing. You can kind of get away with a lot. Like, you know, if I'm drawing like a real funky style or something, I'm not all worried about perspective. I am worried about it looking good. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I might look at it and go, and, and then a lot of times I'll make a drawing, I'll turn something or whatever. And I go, that's slightly out of perspective, but I like it. Hmm. Then I'll flip it and I'll look at it mirror and go, yeah, that kind of works. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, try and get out of that. I would look at him for like that kind of really simple stuff. You know, yeah, you don't have to go that simple, but that idea of like, here's how we design this thing really simply. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and if you want, I, all you guys should do this now. Uh, maybe I'll put a folder up for this and just put a folder of your stuff you know, with your name on it and just go, I'm thinking of doing something like this. That would probably speed this all up a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just kind of go, I want to do something like this. And then we can have a discussion to like, okay, here's how we should approach it. Mm -hmm. Does that make, did I put up the video for, uh, the link for the, um, <coughs> for the, um, wet mount process? Yes. Oh, I did. Okay. I think um, I did that last week. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if I did or not. Um, cause in the video, I think I mentioned it. Um, and it's just like, for me, like once like this kind of thing, you know, if I'm going to do tents, I'm probably going to do those old school. I mean, it's up to you, obviously, but those sort of old school ones with the, with the thing and the, uh, what do you call those stakes, mm -hmm. you know, and maybe they pull out here and have stakes, you know, cause it really says camping when you have that kind of stuff. Now that you could do modern ones too. It doesn't matter. I just like to try and find visual language. that's more interesting. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like the new ones are cool, but they're like, I don't know. It's just different. Maybe for you guys, it's, it is, it's different for you guys with that because you grew up with that type of thing. I didn't, this thing, I probably, um, you're kind of doing it, make this really, you know, small and then really figure out your tires just from this perspective of how you're going to, you know, handle them. And then you might want to go, okay, there's the front, let's say, and then put that big tread stuff on them. So on and so forth. Does that make sense? You know, big gnarly knobby tires. You know, maybe I can see the differential back in there a little bit. And it's not about reality or anything. It's just about this one. Actually, I could probably stylize that, that little four by pretty quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you want to simplify and like maybe make shapes bigger, like on a motorcycle. Because a motorcycle, you can get really hung up. You know, it's a million things on a motorcycle. So, you know, fatten up that tank and the seat and then just sort of do that indication of the silhouette of the motor or whatever. You know, just stylize the hell out of it. Another one, and I don't know which direction you're going, but for simplification, I would look at that, that bear book. I would look at Gravity Falls. You ever seen Gravity Falls? Mm -hmm. Just for that, that really simplified language. Now, when I say this, you guys, I don't mean go copy Gravity Falls. I mean, go look at how they simplified that shape language, right? And it's in the forest, okay? And it's really simple, okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to go through the ones here that I think are relevant because I don't want to um, say the same thing over and over again. Godfrey, how come I didn't see these last week? Where's Godfrey? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I uploaded two thumbnails in the, the drive folder, so. Oh, all right. Hang on, let me get my water. I'm feeling sick, and no, it's not coronavirus. It's like, don't get the Rona. <laughs> I think, I haven't been anywhere. I mean, I literally haven't been anywhere. So you're in prison, then. It's coming for you, Mike. <laughs> Probably is. I'm down by two strikes. That's why I'm starting to think about it. I'm diabetic and I'm asthmatic. Oh, man. So, like you're out. <laughs> now's your chance to kill me. 
All right, um, let's go. Okay, Godfrey. Okay, Godfrey, what's the story here? Uh, which one? Uh, let's, this one. What's that one? Okay. Uh, so for my job, I would tutor like kids from like elementary to all the way to high school. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is more like an elementary school kind of feeling, I guess. So like when I'm tutoring elementary kids, I kind of feel like like a vegetarian that works at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Cause like, you know what I mean? Cause I kind of feel like, I kind of feel bad for the kids what? that have to like stay after school to like learn like writing and stuff like that. You need to get alligator skin. Alligator skin? Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, I am getting money, so that's great. Right. But it's just like, it's just kind of like, I kind of agree with them when they're like, why do we have to stay inside? I'm like, yeah, like, I agree, but I don't say it out loud. Um, so I was thinking, like, I'm okay with uh, most of the panels, but I feel like the ending panel, I might have to change that up to make it more obvious that like the kids are like the animals in the in this uh in the analogy um but yeah okay, so the just, first one is that you walking to work yeah it's like walking away from my car and then like walking up the stairs so that connects to the next shot right walking Which is, up the stairs okay so then we go up the stairs there's the counter or whatever then we go to here what's happening here just i'm um, just like walking past the students and their desks Oh, okay. And then, yeah, yeah. and then now you're in the front, right? Yeah. Looking at the kids. And then what's this panel saying? Uh, that's just kind of like, um, like a vegetarian that works at McDonald's. Like, I don't really believe what I'm doing or like, I, do, I'm kind of low key against it. How do we make that connection? Am I going to have any, any verbal? Oh yeah, no, no. Yeah. I just didn't put the text in there because okay. like, I didn't want to hide the drawing. Okay. Which is a mistake I did with the other thumbnail, but yeah. By the way, you guys, you could always just do the, um, the word bubbles and things like that and type. You could take them into Illustrator and do that. Mm -hmm. right? Pop them in. Um, that way you don't have to worry about, have them, you know, know where they're at, obviously. Then you can just draw right through them and go right over them. Mm -hmm. Or you could do it in Photoshop, too. Some people do it in Photoshop. I like oh, so, um, stuff in Illustrator. Go ahead. So can, so can we, like, um, refine them in, like, a computer? Sure. Hmm. I'm not, uh, the, the medium's up to you guys. And right, and right now, I mean, yeah, you can refine them on the computer. I don't care. I mean, I don't really care what you're drawing on. I, I, I don't want to get all weird about media. I, I want it to be broad. We're talking about it broadly. The reason I'm basically using um, mostly digital drawing and stuff like that right now is because it's easier for me to get it online and all that kind of stuff going out this week and shooting stuff on paper. That's a little different, but that's for a different class and blah, blah, blah. This works fine for this kind of thing. Okay, what's this one, Godfrey? Uh, so this is kind of inspired by like Calvin and Hobbes. Um, you know, like when they're like rolling down the hills in the wagon, it's basically just like they're doing one thing, but it's just a bunch of different shots of the one thing. So, um, and it's just like a, like a philosophical monologue during it. So. I just kind of did that like a random sperm whale in the ocean um, about talking like it's kind of boring down here, but then like, you know, I've, been, I've seen everything there is to see. And then the last panel is obviously like something he hasn't seen. But yeah, um, that's just what I was thinking of. I don't mind stream of consciousness stuff mm -hmm. <clears throat> because I kind of look at this like, okay, this is two pages out of a graphic novel. This all could make sense within that format, right? So basically we're seeing two pages. I'm not trying to make you start and complete the story in here. Does that make sense? Oh, uh, okay, okay. Right? So I, I, it can be a little more open into the normal. I don't want it to be totally incoherent, but I, I actually like, one of the things I like about graphic novels is that you can go down some weird existential path. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of interesting things to play with in there. Uh, which one do you like better, the first one or the second one? Um... In terms of it, like being personal, definitely the first one. Um, but in terms of just like having more fun, like drawing, I guess it would be the second one. 
but yeah. Because one thing you could, I mean, you could really design the hell out of the second one. Mm -hmm. You know, you could have a, a whole back of like a graphic coral, coral you know, then he's mm -hmm. in another scene and there's a shipwreck back there and then he's in another, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, man, you could just have a lot of fun designing it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I would go with this one just because I think it'd be really fun to, to draw. Yeah, right. And really think mm -hmm. about, you know, his world under there, right? All these amazing things that he's just used to seeing, you know? Yeah, it's boring down here to us. It'd be fascinating, right? Mm -hmm. And then this last one, is that like a squid or something? Yeah, like a giant, giant squid. But yeah, uh, It's going to be like a little bit ominous, sort of in the background, the shadows in the foreground, I mean. Yeah, yeah. I was okay. thinking... Um, I was thinking it could be something else, like maybe some kind of sea monster, because sure. I guess I guess if it's just a giant squid, it's kind of like anticlimactic in a way. Yeah, make it some um, crazy, yeah, something yeah. crazy, you know, and kind of creeping around, looking at him, you know, the, if he's got tentacles or going over the whatever the rocks or whatever in the foreground, like like he's kind of watching him. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna change the animal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like it. I like these little um, pop outs right here. These little floaters right there. These aren't all the same size, which I like. I like it. Mm -hmm. All right. But now just design the hell out of every single panel. And they could be really simplified if you want. I, I want you guys to understand that. Because there tends to be a, a tendency when people are starting to do this kind of illustration stuff that like, you know, they're kind of trying to find their style and everything. I get it. But, you know, they tend to try and start leaning on realism and all that kind of stuff. And that could work in certain contexts, but I don't really think it works in the context for this kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like what Alex Ross does with comic books where he paints those hyper real gouache things. It works great for him. You know what I mean? Because, he's you know, it looks cool. And it could be in this too. I don't care if you guys want to do it that way. But I do want you to use, I want you to have design as a tool in your box. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So design the hell out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have like um, or like, is there a way to look up like different ways to to lay out the panels? Because I realize there's like so many different um, like tips or tricks that you could do with that. I don't really think they're tricks. I think it's just breaking your head open and going. I would just go on when I do stuff like this, where I just want to you know get some ideas. I just go uh, interesting comic book panels, um, comic book panel um, composition, you know, stuff like that. And I'll just get a whole bunch of images and go, oh, you'll see all kinds of cool stuff. You know what I mean? So if you mm -hmm. want to get in here and like do some, and you probably could do some diagonal panels or something. You'll see something if you do a search on that, that you're going to go, oh, I want to do something like that. You know what I mean? And you're not ripping them off. They're just compositions and they're panels. It yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? And you're, and you're not going to copy them anyway because it won't work with your thing. Don't be afraid to break the borders here. You know, like if this, if this creature here you know, if his tentacle comes out and, you know, breaks that border, that's fine. Mm. Right? Okay. Um, you know, things can break borders. Things cannot have a border. The thing I just put online was just, I took some uh, sort of gouache edged pan or squares out of Illustrator and I just popped them under here and got rid of the line. So then I just had a little color blob that felt like a little paint blob. And I started popping those in and using cyan and that. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but in the old days, they would, uh, I think these things were all driven by printing. They would do these children's books that would just have an off register, like sort of reddish orange uh, thing and then an uh, ink drawing over it. Then the next one would be like the same thing, but like cyan. And they just do this like magenta and cyan thing through the whole thing because it was two colors. It was probably on a really cheap press. So they didn't want to try and, um, what do you call that, register it. So they just put a big block of color behind the, the ink drawing. If it was slightly off, it didn't matter. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? But it, what's interesting about those things is those are creative solutions to technical problems. And then when you solve those problems, then, you know, looking back on it 40 years now, whatever it's been, 50 years, it looks cool. You know what I mean? Like they probably saw that as a limitation, but it actually looks really cool. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So think about how you're going to handle that. And I'm not saying it has to be one color. It could be full color. I don't care. But what medium are you going to do it in? Mm. Can we do um, it in black and white? Hang on, let him answer. What medium are you going to do it in? I'm thinking I might go digital for this one. Okay. Yeah, That's yeah, fine. yeah. Um, I actually like the idea of a few people doing like full digital stuff. You know what I mean? If they really work mm -hmm. them out and everything. 
because the reality of this, if I was doing a big long graphic novel, I probably we would do it digital just because it's like it's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I did a, I think I told you guys, I did a 30 page, I think it's 30 pages children's book dummy. That's just the dummy, and that's hard. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. got to flow visually, you got to make sure the story works, and all this kind of takes a long time, you know? Yeah, either that or, um, uh, cause I recently found out I had a dip pen. So oh. I was thinking maybe I could use that. That'd um, be cool. yeah, but if I want to do like watercolor afterwards, I have to do that whole like stapling process. So mm-hmm. I don't know if I have a stapling gun. Actually house. you could do it if you got, um, if you got, um, like Bristol board. You, oh, wait, you could I actually do, do it on Bristol board, you know, just sort of, you know, tape it down or whatever, some drafting tape or something. And, um, you know, it's going to be so contained in there. And Bristol board, people use Bristol board all the time for like inking and then throwing a little, some watercolor over it. You know what I mean? Okay, I might actually do that then. And then sometimes yeah. I always go like, the other thing is, is eventually you're going to scan this thing. So, you know, if I put something on the scanner that I didn't put down, I just hold that scanner down really hard. It usually will flatten it out while I scan it. You know what I mean? But you, a lot of people use um, Bristol board and they don't, they don't staple that down. Okay. <laughs> they have like four ply i think it's six ply and then you can get kid finish or a plate finish or i can't remember the other one anyway one of them is really smooth for um i think that's plate finish for a pen and ink work okay mm-hmm. and then one of them has a little bit of a pebble surface right and then just the four ply and six ply just means it's thicker and you know i get a good thick sheet of it and what's really nice about bristol is that it's a pretty robust paper but it's really easy to light table it, you know? Mm. And what I would do is the way they do, if you're going to do that, because I tend to just, when I'm doing the f- kind of final pencil stuff, I tend to go in there and put a lot of value in there. So you can, and if you look, I'll send you some Bernie Wrightson ones. I mean, he goes completely psycho with what he does, but if you look at, or, or any comic book artist, if you look at, because when I looked at the Bernie Wrights and stuff, I go, that Frankenstein stuff, you go, where in the hell did he start this thing? But if you look at his pencils, he worked out everything in the pencils. Like even where the rat tails come off of the dark values, I mean, everything's worked out. So when he puts that down on, uh, and he draws them probably all right on the Bristol board, then he just goes in and starts, you know, he has, you know, the, the, you know, you just knock in the side of your pencil because you're going to lose all that pencil anyway when you ink and whatever's showing you just erase it. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Crow Cool pin's really good. Uh, a Hunt 513, I think it's, it's called 513 or 512. And then if you can't, I mean, art, art, art stores aren't open right now, right? Yeah, I mean, I just have like this dip pen, if you could see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just a standard a good, um, Do you have a good brush, like a, like a double lot brush? Brush? Like a, what kind of brush? Actually, you don't even, do you have India ink? Uh, yeah, or like some speedball ink. As long as it's waterproof. Um, let me see. Higgins is good. Higgins is pretty bulletproof. Yeah, it just says super pigmented acrylic. It doesn't say anything about waterproof. Acrylic should be waterproof. What I would do is just put a mark of it on a page, let it dry, and then just throw some water over it. And acrylic should be waterproof. Is that FW? Uh, what is that? FW ink? No, it's Speedball. Super black ink. Yeah, that's probably waterproof. It's acrylic. Acrylic, okay. once it dries, it's, it's pretty waterproof. Just put a stroke of it down and then just let it dry and then just throw yeah. some water over it. It should be waterproof. It should stay right waterproof, now. though. Okay. Yeah, I'll test it out right now. Um, I have no idea how hard it is to get um, art supplies right now. I know that like Amazon screwed because they're, um, they're not shipping anything. You know what I mean? Like shipping everything. stuff, it's it just has a long delivery process. Well, to me, that's yeah, not shipping. Really anymore. <laughs> when I order a normal product that I think you know, that I normally get the next day or the day after that, and it's now a month, I mean, that's pretty useless. You know what I mean? But I'm not sure if that applies to like Blick, you know, because they're not being commandeered. Their supply chain's not being commandeered by the government or whatever's going on with Amazon. So it, they, you might be able to get art supplies in a reasonable amount of time. I don't know. I would think they would be all over it right now because their stores are all closed. Make sense? Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
Where's this, Kate or Cat? Where's Cat? I'm here. This is a hundred times better than where you started. Thanks. I mean, can you see that? Yeah. Now, with something like this, what's going on here? With, with this with, one with, right here? Oh, this okay. Or whatever. Oh, it's just um, like the creepiness or the darkness. It's it's already out, and it's. It's it's escaped from the books. Like is it's, that is that a, it's a, now influencing that person. Is it is that a shadow? Yeah. Okay, so I probably I probably knock this down. And make sure like there's a wall here, okay? Okay. And that way, you don't have the corner right there. It could come off of this. And then climb the wall like a shadow. Okay. And then really get this little part worked out. It can be a total uh, uh, silhouette, that's fine. And I know it's still sort of a thumbnail. But you got to get that really worked out. I just saw a really, and I keep talking about Bernie Wrightson because I'm on this group on Facebook, and so I keep getting stuff from him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he has a hand kind of like that shadow, and he's it's I think it's climbing over a rock or something like that. But the hands in this really cool like position like that that your hand would never be in, and he really emphasizes the knuckles and stuff in here. Here you're not going to emphasize knuckles or whatever, but make sure that I buy this hand right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oops. Okay, now I have to. Oh, God, this guy's crazy. Again, I have to recalibrate my pin every 10 minutes on Wonkum because they're so crappy. Okay. Okay, so that's, uh, and then I think the books are starting to work pretty good. Make sure that this thing, what's this here? Teeth? You there? A loser? Okay, I'll... Okay. there we go. Sorry, like you froze for, for a minute and I didn't oh, hear okay. anything. Um, are these teeth right here? Um, on, the second, on the second page, yeah. That one? Ab yeah, above it, yeah. I'd be a little careful with like kind of using that kind of symbology because it's so overused. Does that make sense? Okay. Like yeah. Like the big, you know, drooling teeth. Like, you know, a, a silhouette. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um, this stuff over here, I think, is a lot better. You okay. Know, this, you know, trick out this wolf or whatever it is. And mm -hmm. man, see right here your, your moon or whatever? It's got a tangent. See how, see how it's sitting and it's kissing that line right there? Yeah. Move it up. Okay. You never want them to kiss. You want them to either either overlap or be away from each other. Okay. Okay. And it's a weird thing that I used to not understand that, but now I do because it does bug me every time I see it. So that's kind of <laughs> why everybody says that. Okay. Megan, what kind of format is this? Megan there? I just saw her. It wasn't in again. That's weird. I did that one. No. Oh, Ryan already started. Hey, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, what's up? Um, I mean, you started working yours up, but you know, and yours are the ones that I used in the video, so you can take a look at that. Okay. All right. What medium are you going to use? I forgot. So I, so like the scene in general is like at night. So like I was thinking like whenever I try and picture in my head, I'm thinking in like um, ink and like gray tones. Okay. Um, so, but I'm worried because um, I've used like inks before and stuff. And I know that like sometimes if you mess up, it's really hard to, Okay. Yeah. No, but what you can do is, is you can use a, 
and you could probably get by with, with white out or something, but you know, there used to be this thing called graphic white. It was like a hyper gouache. Mm -hmm. And when you, and if you look at the old inks, like if you see the real ones, you'll see a lot of that graphic white on there where they like recarved an edge or they, yeah, it's usually carving stuff back out where there's where, you know, they got a ratty edge or something. They just carved that yeah. edge. So um, like, go ahead. like the thing like on the second page, like where it's like the wolf on like the rock in front of the moon or whatever. I was thinking like it would look cool to just have like a very black um, like silhouette. Oh yeah, yeah. totally. Um, so I was thinking, yeah. And I also have a dip pins too. I was thinking. You know, uh, one of the things that I put on the video from that, um, the wolf or whatever on that uh, cliff uh -huh. is you could kind of go sort of uh, at the top dark and then sort of rat tail it out so it sort of goes lighter as it goes down, uh -huh. you know? So yeah. you could probably do the same thing with the rock. I would really start looking at, um, awesome. I, I, I'm gonna put some monster inker people online, okay? I need Somebody saying something? Apple spice. Yeah. Does that make sense? Try it. Yeah, yeah. I, I ordered packaging for them. What is so that? Are you, it looks like Sabrina, maybe? Oh. Wow, wow. Yep. Um. So yeah, and then is are the pan is the panel layout good though? I don't think the panel is good. You might want to try and and only if you can maybe get a diagonal in there or something like that. Just play around with it a little okay. bit. Make, like maybe another thing more. you might want to do is like get this whole thing penciled, and then maybe because you're new to pen and ink, you know, you do one panel at a time and then you scan them and put them all together. Okay. Because then if you screw one up, you're not like, oh, crap, there goes the whole page. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And then you just put them together. I mean, who cares? Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. so, I'll that's what I'll have to say on that. So they just need to be refined and pushed, right? Yeah. And that's the one that's online, so you can just say, I, and I just did like a half an hour on it. Okay. And Thank it was you. just my first pass. It was this stuff right here, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Starting to use this gouache edge, starting to um, build a... Um, a value system using the tree combining all the trees together to get silhouettes right Maybe we use these kind of borders instead of just a straight border here's yeah. that line thing i was just talking about uh -huh. you know and then you know i was using two value or two colors i was using orange i'd probably desaturate that orange a little bit probably even yellow or the blue a little bit did you I do this kind of digitally? Doing that. huh did you do this digitally mm -hmm. the whole thing's digital Okay. Um, most of the stuff I'm going to do in here, just again, from a practicality standpoint, I'll do digitally. Okay. Cause I'm just going over your drawings and stuff. I mean, to me, that's just drawing. It doesn't matter yeah. what I'm drawing on. You know what I mean? Let's go. Um, all right. So Godfrey. I don't know where my other page went. Hang on. Okay, Sabrina, where are you at? Oh, wait, I think I muted her. Hold up, I'm oh, here. Okay. Um, okay, what's going on here? Hold up, sorry. Um, so I kind of kind of thought, but um, I was thinking about back to what you said about like, you know, not making it really comic strippy. So I kind of want to get a little bit creative about like, you know, going starting from that little panel right there. The little alien plant going up growing up and, then, and it's yeah it's basically growing up because like i have this weird looking alien plant and i'm like it's disgusting i want to burn it one day but then i always like hesitate about not burning it um remember that that plant would be right in the gutter what that plant would be right in the gutter your gutter is going to be right Oh yeah, definitely. Be right there. Oops. Right there. Yeah, I was just like really weird about it, but I wanted to like change your distance. And I then <clears throat> you got to design the hell out of that plant. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, okay. Just work out that, um, you know, unify this hair and give it a real stylistic point of view. Okay. Yeah. This should have a little more. 
you know, one way, easy way to build the face is, you know, that egg on its side idea. When that comes down, I usually put the bottom of the nose. And I just start building it that way. Oops. You know, chin, ear. But I stylize the hell out of it, obviously, right? Yeah. So on and so forth, right? Okay, so next class, I want this super refined. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Because I want to get going on these. I want to get going on the color part. I want to get through the drawing. Okay. Thank you. Okay. James here? James is here, right? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, you have the quietest microphone in the world. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you better. Okay. Okay, so what are we saying here? Uh, I don't know. Which one are you looking at? Hang on. Let's look at this one. And this one. Did you say you're going to do this in watercolor? I thought about it, but I might actually do it in digitally, actually. OK. And then what's this one? The first one is oh. um, the actual comic strip. And this is an idea I had for another page or another part of it. So the original one is this one, correct? Yeah. <sighs> So what was the story here? Uh, it's just basically this little girl fell asleep with gum in her hair and she went to go cut it and she was really impressed with her hair and she went back down to show her sisters and her sisters all laughed at her basically and now she's just really embarrassed. Give me more of a payoff at the end. Okay. Right? Um, okay, I don't have a problem with that. Do you want to keep those panels so symmetrical? Uh, I do want to change them up. It was just to, I don't know. I get it. That's fine. Like this one where she's messing with her hair. The hell? Come on. Right here where she's messing with her hair. That might be a cool, like bigger one that maybe lives, you know, a little bigger in here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because that's sort of a big moment, I would think. You notice this, and now you got to try and solve it. Then I think this is a big one because she likes it, right? Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, it, it's going to have something to do with her reaction. I don't feel like there's enough payoff there with the, with the reaction at the end. Okay. Or, or, how, or how she handles that, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if I kept going in the book, then you might find out that she becomes, like, cool and becomes cooler on campus than all these other kids or who knows what, you know what I mean, if I kept going, right? Right. And, I, and again, I'm not trying to get you to compress this whole story idea into two pages, but we have to give it a little bit of a visual payoff and a story payoff. Okay. Okay. And you said you're going to do it digital, maybe? Yeah, I think so. How, many, how much digital stuff have you done? Uh, just classes with you and with Phil. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a good idea. Okay. Let's go. See the other one in there? Which one? The watercolor? No, there's like a, a second panel you started putting up. Was this an idea I had for another page? I mean, same story, but she's basically out looking for snacks. And that was kind of one I was trying to just... I don't know, just wrangle it in, basically. So it's her basically fishing out a cooler from a lake. <coughs> and there's all this craziness under the water? Yeah. I like that. I like that. You there? Yeah. Which, I mean, that just looks super fun to draw. And I like that kind of jumping off the cliff into a weird story like that. It feels dreamlike. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I like this one too. 
I mean, they're both connected. I guess I was just trying to work to them out at once. I don't know. Uh, if you can, if you can work this one up into a coherent little story, I think this one would be cool to draw. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you guys, I'm going to put, I don't know if I already put it up. I don't think I did under assignment. I'll put the assignment, the watercolor thing. I'll put a folder for it and all that stuff. Drop them in there. You can keep fiddling with them throughout the term and everything, make them better and all that kind of stuff you want. But I just want to get them in there so I can just grade them and be done with them. Okay. Yes. Megan. Yes. These are in some weird file format. Is it letting you open them? No. I can preview okay. them like that, but I can't open them. Okay. Let me uh, leave really quick and re-upload them. Okay. Here Naomi. Right. Where's Naomi? Naomi. Okay. What's going on? Um, I didn't put any of the text. I, I don't care. I mean, it makes but it a little easier. But... So what's the story here? Um, so it's about this, uh, this Ekuza guy, he moves to um, Little Tokyo in like the 50s. And so um, this is this random lady. There's like people like <laughs> in the city, there, there's like, um, like high school girls getting kidnapped. And this one lady, she like goes, she goes to him to have him like search for her sister. And I so like the, the entire story. I like the arm snubbing out the cigarette. I mean, mm -hmm. I like a lot of it. Uh, we could probably make the first panel a little more dramatic, right? Okay. Um, did you find mm -hmm. any of those um, like Powerpuff Girl film noirish looking things? Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? Where they'd have the door open and the light spilling in, but it's like super simple. I yeah. Mean, they, they killed the design on that show, you know? Mm -hmm. And Samurai Jack, which I think was the same team or something. I'm not sure. Um, ooh, and I like this, the fan right here. That's great. That's great. Okay, refine it. Okay. Now, we now know where your word bubbles are going to be, though, right? Yeah, I do. Or how are you going to handle your words? They don't have to be in a word bubble. They could be, you know, maybe like right here. And I'm just throwing this out there. Like here, you know, they could be following the, the floor and be sitting on the floor of the words. Oh. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, or they could be right here, like right here. Maybe she starts uh -huh. saying something here and then finishes her thought over here. And they're just, you know, they're just paragraphs. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the, um, to see the words in there. I don't know why. They just always finishes it for me. I like that. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. All right. so I'm going to see refinement on Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So just, um, just that first panel. This just one? Like change it. That one? Yeah. I don't know if you have to change it. Like, I don't mind that it's that figure and that. But I think we need to get something going on there. Okay. Okay. You might want to look at, um, I mean, the obvious stuff, film noir, comic books. I mean, comic books steal from that, even if it's not a film noir. That way that they ink those things with that heavy black, that to me comes right out of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you can just simplify it, okay? Man, I feel like crap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maria. Yes. Um, uh, what's going on here? Well, that's um, that's what I want to do. Like, I want to draw, have it drawn out. Probably it's going to be a digital, and I wanted to do like that part of like what she's thinking of with like textures of pictures, like a collage. You're going to collage a little bit. Kinda, yeah. Okay, a little bit. I don't mind. I just don't want you to be avoiding drawing altogether. Oh, no, no, no. I well, by the way, I was going to put this up. I'll try and um, maybe I'll scan it. I think it was in the New York Times Magazine this weekend. They had a really fun couple of pages in there that were like this, that were like part photos and then ink drawings over it. And they were like real simple. They were cool. So I'll, I'll scan those and throw them in there. I'll probably put a photo, photo, fo folder up on Google. And I'm just going to say it's references. I'm just going to start throwing stuff in there. Okay. 
Okie dokie. Okay. So refinement, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, Daniel, you're working through your character designs? Yeah, okay. Now, Daniel, are you there? I don't know if he's Wait, here. Sorry, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I like this one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh thank you. Uh, can you tell me why you like mine? I like, I like the stylization. I like how graphic it is. And then yeah. like these, okay, so these, all the panels are the same size and everything right yep these you started to vary them up mm -hmm. right yeah and then and, uh, well, okay but what i'd say is make sure that this panel right here this one right oops i gotta open it hang on technology right man there. This one. Have you ever used Illustrator? Illustrator? Uh, not really. I don't think my computer can handle it, honestly. It's so slow. Well, this one, it's, it's like such simple shapes. Like this guy, I would just put a little more. Make sure that I know what's going on in this panel. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah. Okay. It's a little confusing. Um, don't have this these two things meet like that unless they're in this, uh, is that in one room because it's a little confusing I like this little um, diagonal and then flesh these guys out a little more like this stuff needs to be fleshed God, there it goes. hang on other computer man it's so annoying. They make the worst product in the world. Cool. It's like such a crappy product. Okay. But I mean, having said that, I'm glad to have something. So, um, you know, flesh this guy out a little more. I don't know what, you know, maybe this hat has a little more of a fold in it. Maybe, you know, maybe his hands are like on the desk. You know, a little more, just a little, uh, and this should break the edge because that's like the band that goes around the head. You know, just help it a little bit. Uh, you know, and then put something in. And what's this little W represent? That right there. That's my mouth. Okay, make it more readable as a mouth. Whatever that is, okay? <laughs> put ears on it. Okay. Can we put this into a tongue? <laughs> hey, what? Can we make that into a tongue? You can put a tongue on it. Okay, <laughs> so refine those. All right. You have three bots there. Okay. So let's go. Godfrey, Megan. Megan's re uploading Naomi Palm Palm. Okay, so let's look at these. Where's Palmer? Is Palmer here? I'm here. Okay. So right now, you got such like fun imagery to play with in this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't let me drag it into my window for some reason. It's really weird. Okay, so there's that. There it goes. It's a big file. Hang on. Kind of interconnect these a little bit. Like, is she, she's a kid, right? Yeah. Okay, so you got to get her to look a little more kid. This one here feels a little more kid. Uh -huh. What's going on here? 
Okay, this is where um, we are having the, the, the hot air balloon. But this so that's when they're making it, correct? Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to have words in this? Uh, well, I didn't think about yet about the words, but it's All just... right, if you're going to have words in it, you got to know. And I, if not, then you're telling the story completely visually. I got to make sure that I understand it or anybody okay. understands it, okay? okay? Now, is this here what she's thinking about or is that what happens? No, it's just like uh, because was amazed that, you know, it's a kid and didn't know why the, the air balloon is start moving because, you know, as a kid, you don't know the uh, hot air goes up. Make it. <coughs> okay. So it's amazing that things are moving and it's starting to go up. I like all these, um, like, soft frame edges, but start designing it, you know, where this really gets, like, Take advantage of that shape and make a really nice, strong shape out of that. Really design it, okay? Okay. And then I would probably make this thing bigger, or is it a vignette? Or like, you know, this whole unit right here somehow should live together. Maybe it overlaps yeah, that a little bit. No, it's like that because in real life, the, the balloon is there, but if she's going like daydreaming. Right, okay, so here, like this one, you know, you got to design the hell out of that. Mm -hmm. And I design it like those old cool ones, you know, that, I mean, you can design it however you want, but. Um, oh, you know, I and then she's leaning out, which I like on this one. Mm -hmm. But I do that ground, like, you know, I do that ground with the curvature of the earth, right? Okay. okay. And then just down here. This makes me insane. Never had this problem with an iPad. Okay. Usually it does it two times and then that's it. I have no idea why. Okay. Um, you know, you know, some houses here, and I kind of hint that they're in two three point perspective, so they kind of wrap this way and tilt this way to the other way. You don't have to figure out all the perspective, just get me to believe it. Mm -hmm. Right? Maybe there's a little church steeple down there, you know, and just a couple of things down there, and that would be a really cool looking panel. I love this where she's getting the scar but I might have her sort of leaning, really having to lean out to get a hold of it. Maybe she's hanging on to one of the guy wires like right there. Really. Oh, okay, okay, yes. You know, really pushing that pose a lot. Mm-hmm. I love the idea of a child grabbing a scar out of a gondola. That's super cool. This one, I like the other one you had from the last week. Uh -huh. She was more down here. I love the foreshortening and all that on that. That's great. But I liked it when I saw the, a little bit of the gondola this way. The only comment I was going to make about that from last week is just make, and you already did it. You made her smaller. I just thought you need to make her smaller. Okay. And you did that. Okay. So, yeah, have the, and maybe this goes at an angle. Maybe this goes at an angle. Okay. This way. Uh huh. You know, then we have our gondola. Okay. okay. A really good one to look at. I mean, there's a lot of things you can look at for this. Okay. Refine. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So you're going to post this on online? I'm going to post um, some references. Okay. Okay. Hey, Megan, did you get stuff up there? Yeah, it should be uh, all set in there. Okay, who's this one? I know who this is. 
Are you here? Hi, I'm here. Hi. How do you pronounce your first name? Uh, Yi Zhang. Oh, okay. okay. Yi Zhang. Thank you, you for asking. For <laughs> um, same thing I'm saying with everybody. Now start to design the hell out of it, design the characters. Okay. Okay. Now I go back, I know I always go back to this, but the reason I go back to this is because these are super well designed and they're um, simple. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, kids, right? Okay. Look, big feet, you know, gawky, you know, big glasses. This one's a great one right here. But look how simple these things are, man. I mean, they're so simple, okay? Not that that's easy, but you know, look at the eyes, you know, expressions of the mouth, you can swipe some of those. I mean, it's not like he invented any of that, okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so start really, I love this one right here, that expression. I mean, I like all those expressions. This one I really love for this little design thing where this comes mm -hmm. down and just continues throughout this line. That is a really nice little design thing, okay? Yeah. Think like that, okay? Carter Goodrich is a really good one to look at just to sort of get you revved up, I think, okay? Okay. So he'll be one of the ones I throw in there. I'll, I'll put some links in there, I'll put some, whatever, some images and all that kind of stuff, okay? Okay. Megan, do you say you got stuff in there now? Yeah. Megan, okay. Megan, open this one, one and two. Yeah. Downloading. So, so just start refining. Mm -hmm. okay. Like that car, these cars and all that stuff. And you can keep it, like I said, really simple. By the way, you, you uploaded your watercolor again, huh? Yes. Huge improvement. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Huge improvement. Like, did you notice yeah. that now your contrast is starting to work? Yes. Okay. Thank, yeah, that video was really helpful. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, when I started... Um, doing watercolor or any of this stuff. I sucked. Okay. <laughs> so, um, that's why I'm so big on methodology. I don't want, I don't, I, I want to try and lessen that curve as much as I can. So you don't get, it sucks. You know, you get discouraged when you, okay. when you're trying to figure this stuff out. At least I did. Okay. So okay. So like the design the car, design the road, everything. Does that make sense? Yes. So the, the, Oh, sorry, no, the sorry. last part does it make sense? Is it better than before? <laughs> right. Yes, that's fine. Okay. But now design the living hell out of it. Okay. Okay. So for the watercolor, uh, should I keep just working on it or? Okay, here's what I just I've said it a little earlier. I'm gonna put up the I'm gonna put the official assignment date on it. I'll make it for I don't know whenever tomorrow or something. Or I'll make it for okay. Wednesday. Just okay. throw all of them in that folder. I know that everybody doesn't have a scanner, so if you have to do it on your phone, that's fine. Okay. okay. And then, um, uh, and then I'll just go through them and grade them. And as long as you get them in there on time, then you can just keep fiddling with them. And at the end of the term, if you go like, "Hey, man, I really plus that up," I'll I'll push the grade up. Okay. Okay. okay? I always want to give you guys a chance to plus because most of this stuff, to be honest, is a lot of repetition. Okay. Okay. Got to do a lot of repetition to get anywhere with it. Right. Okay, Megan. Thank you. What did we do here? Uh, I just flushed it out a little bit more. Okay. Oh, wait. It's, is it the same page? Okay. I know on. I uploaded them differently, I promise. No, hang on. I'll check. It, it's probably not you. There's that. 
Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, there it is. My computer is doing some really weird crap. Okay. Okay, so you're just fleshing out. Mm-hmm. You gotta give me my I love this drawing right here. The last one? And this one. But you gotta get me my likenesses, man. They gotta be right on. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Look at John Cashed. Look at um Oh God. Oh, oh, uh Robert Valley. Mm -hmm. You know who he is? Sounds familiar. Robert Valley, I don't know if you ever saw that, the intro to the Beatles rock band, the video. Oh, game. yeah, yeah. He designed a lot of that. Yeah, no, that, that little intro is great. Oh, my God, it's amazing. And, um, yeah. And, uh, but what's really cool about it, if you look at his, his drawings and stuff for that, the way he stylized the Beatles is super cool. Mm -hmm. You know, he just made them all, like, lean and, like, in suits. Yeah, no, it's so Nailed really cool. their likenesses, you know what I mean? Yeah. And what I'm saying to look at him for and look at um, um, Steven Silver, because he simplifies mm -hmm. the hell out of everything. I love him. Look at him. I don't know if he's ever done Beatles. It doesn't matter. But just look at that and go, how is he capturing? You know, it's, it's really just capturing the – and sometimes you just have to – actually, you always usually have to do this. You have to sit down and just do a million of them and just try mm -hmm. everything. And all of a sudden, you'll start landing on graphic language where you go, oh, that looks like Paul McCartney's eyes, because he has those big doe eyes. Mm -hmm. right and the small mouth yeah. and you know blah 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 um ring goes a little easier because he's got the uh, nose and all stuff he can grab onto i mm -hmm. love this posture right here can you see that yeah that looks great okay you're a graphic design major mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> is that what you're gonna do i want to do all of it i mean okay, good, i want to like do like advertising but like i want to use like illustration i would love to do like editorial stuff yeah i'll do it that's actually it. what i really want to do in this class is an editorial project Ooh. that's like the main thing got me super excited about doing illustration was editorial i think editorial is super cool mm -hmm. but we'll see where we go with that okay um keep refining get my likenesses okay okay and i want to get these things really refined out like this tub you know yeah this you know give me a little you know everything has to be fleshed out nothing can just be oh, i'm gonna do some mark making no you got to design it mm -hmm. that's the fun of it to me you know what i mean yeah i mean i no, love drawing fun. but drawing in service to design correct mm -hmm. i mean you got some nice drawings in here like this is a nice drawing this that posture right there and that hand that's great that looks natural okay thank you and that is hard to do you know the main thing that I see with students' work is that everything is too stiff. And that's just, you know, part of the learning process. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you're starting to get, like, some nice stylistic approach to it, some nice drawing, you know. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get this refined like crazy on Wednesday because I, I want to do kind of one pass over a few of them on Wednesday and really start to finish them out. Okay? Mm -hmm. Got um, it. All right. Yeah, hey, question. Uh, is there an editorial class or something? No, I might do a, we might do a project, editorial project. Okay. Got that. 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 Got I was uh, trying to like add some uh, most of the uh, speech bubbles, and I also uh, fixed that uh, one um, problem you had with the hands raising. I raised the shoulders like you told me to. Yes, better, much better, much better. You see that? Hmm. I also tried to. When you lean okay. like that, your your collarbone goes askew, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also tried uh, making the speech bubbles in the um, fourth panel in the uh, first page uh, more dynamic because he's like yelling out it to like grab the uh, audience attention or I think I would do that the more members with, like the way okay so like the way you're doing those like 
radiating lines. I might have the panel sort of follow that idea as opposed to putting all the points on it. Points are not a very pleasing shape, you know, which is why anime sucks so hard because it's all much pointy shapes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So just refine, refine, refine. I'd refine this guy a little more and refine your faces and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's all about refining at this point. I mean, you got a lot of stuff in there and it's looking pretty good, but now start refining. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me get this one. What's this one? Oh, who's this? That's mine. Where are you at? Who? Oh, it's Taylor. Oh, okay. Yes, I remember. Yeah. What's what's his motivation for jumping now? He doesn't want to get eaten. Like, okay, that's what I thought. Because so I thought. Of, yeah. Go ahead. Well, that's just so I kind of like I put that in in the bottom panel, so I have like him looking up at me, air quote, and I look like this like devilish figure, and then it's like looking back at him you know he's like oh my god and then it's like hit that little like vision of him being eaten in the bottom the very bottom left panels because i was doodling these uh -huh. like, pin, and i had one where he was sort of you know with his hand up in the air like being super declarative and like leaning sideways uh -huh. where he was declaring like i'll choose my own death <laughs> and then he like determined like jumps off and you kind of did it i wanted to put his legs in front of him a little bit so you kind of did that yeah but I like the idea of him being having this like idea of like an honorable, noble death. Yeah. You know I mean? Like yeah. I choose my death. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Not you. But, um, <laughs> and you're going to do a what medium? Uh, I mean, I'm kind of like, that's, I'm kind of like trying to figure that out. I, I, when I initially was going to do this, I was just going to do marker and black line. Um, but uh I don't, I, I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to do um, the, you know, that style I showed you where I kind of like traced it and then um, color paneled behind it. Mm -hmm. um, it I think that would, yeah. And I think that would be fun. Like if it, so it kind of had that like ratty look. Yeah. And just like that, um, even like you were talking at the beginning of um, class that kind of like vintage look they just like slap the color down and yeah. have the line over i love that stuff like, it's all off right kind of yeah ahead. that's i love that it's my like i love print making it's my favorite well then like, do that style man okay cool. for sure do that style i'll give did i give you all my brushes yet no i'll put the i'll put on my little go ahead I, I don't know how to do like brushes and stuff like that in Illustrator. I got a video online. I'll just send it to you. It's nothing. Okay. It's cool. literally nothing. It'll okay, take cool. you four minutes to learn it. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So you got it worked out. Same thing. Refine. Okay. Do you, right? What would, what's your like number one point of refining right now? All these figures. Okay. I want those, like, I want a definite point of view on your stylistic point of view. Okay. I'm really big on that. I, I want a stylistic point of view. It forces you into thinking like a designer, which I think is really important. Okay. And, and by the way, that stylistic point of view, man, is pretty wide open. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like, I want you guys, what the part of my thing here is, is I want you guys to figure out who you are. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can sit here and force you to do all sorts of exercises, but. I mean, that's great, but I do that in other classes. I don't, I feel like I can do that in here a little bit too, but I really think you've got to dig down on story. You've got to dig down on um, uh, how, you know, your stylistic point of view. Cause like there's different types of illustration. One of them is like, you know, it's always been traditionally just called freelance illustration. Yeah. Where they come to you for your thing. Yeah. You know? Hey, it's entertainment weekly. We're doing this article on a uh, Brad Pitt. You know, we want, and we kind of have this idea we want this or rolling stone or whoever right yeah, yeah, yeah. and now it's you know all kinds of other things too yeah um i just never i've never like taken like a like oh this is a worded word but i've never taken like a stylistic like illustration class so it's just me just trying to like figure it out that's so kind of what it is that. that's kind of what it is you okay. know what it is it's sitting down and and breaking these things into shapes and start to go like I do 40 head shapes and eyes and all these different things. And then I start landing on something. I mean, a lot of it is happy accidents. Like mm -hmm. you get that good drawing going or whatever. And that, you know, the shape language that you like, 
maybe find, you know, something that kind of inspires you. You go, I want to do something kind of like that. I look at things like that sometimes where I go, man, I just want to do something that cool. Yeah. I don't steal anything from it. I just go, that's cool. And it just gets me fired up. It could be somebody who has nothing to do with my style stylistically. Okay. I just look at it and go, that is so good. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. Water topes like that. I can look at water top stuff and I go, that is so damn good. It's crazy. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. Or Peter DeSeb or, you know, whoever, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, the reason I named Peter DeSeb because I don't really consider him an entertainment designer, even though I know he designs characters and all that. He also does yeah. editorial. He came out of illustration straight up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So did Carter Goodrich probably. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of guys now that come out of entertainment programs that they don't really interest me a whole lot usually. Yeah. That, that, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that it's very much a, like, it's this one thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We just do this mm -hmm. one thing. And I, it just doesn't interest me very much. I like broad skill sets where you can go, you know, you might do this. And then tomorrow you might be at Disney Consumer Products designing product. Yeah. Or, or packaging or style guides or who knows what. You know what I mean? Yeah. Phone rings, you want to be able to say, yes, I can do that job. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Never want to, I, the worst thing to me is like, I mean, I've turned jobs down because I'm not that interested in them. I very rarely ever turn one down because I go, I don't know, that's not my thing. I'm not good at that. Yeah. You know what I mean? uh -huh. Even sometimes when I don't think I'm that good at it, I'm like, I'll learn on the job. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes that works out and sometimes it doesn't. Let me get a um, screen grab here. We got 19. Okay. How's everybody doing with the uh, locked up in the house thing? Uh, okay. This is a prison. Other than my house, outside. Only three cubic feet, it's fine. Other than what? I need Other than my house being only like three cubic feet, it's fine. I need to go yeah. Outside. Yeah, it sucks. I need to go outside. I need to be free. <laughs> I was just talking about it this morning. Where you can't, like, every day it pops into my head, I'm still doing this, right? I go, I want to go get a coffee and, and draw some people. And I, oh, you can't. I want to yeah. go over to. I want uh, this vaccine. The, I'm going to go get I want some, this um, vaccine to be. Can't do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Okay, I think I got everybody. If I miss any, let me do it one more time. Joshua. Yeah. Um, where gear is that? You're just refining, right? Yeah. Okay, so you know every Wednesday, every Monday, every Wednesday we're here. Right. Okay, and it's the same link. They just it's a room and you just go into the room. Uh -huh. Okay. And anything yeah. that I'm gonna put up, the folders, all the stuff, I'll email them to you like I have them. Cool, thank you. Okay. Um, um, um questions? Uh, uh yes. What? So how far um, do like comic artists and graphic novel artists usually take character design? Like, do they do like turnarounds and expression no, sheets? More than likely not. Okay. What they probably do is they're going to do their own version of that because you just sketch like crazy. And then you can right. start going, Hey, I got to draw, you know, and I think, okay. So one thing you want to do, no matter what kind of illustration you're doing, if you're doing like something narrative, you want to sort of know the shape breakdown of that thing because that's going to help you to turn it and always keep it in uh, on model. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you always want to look at it. Hang on. I'm going to share my screen again. Hang on. Even if it's like, it's not um, entertainment design or whatever, but I do want to go, this character's head is shaped like that. There's the axis of it. She has this thin neck. And I always use this kind of shape just because it's a bold shape. You know, maybe it's an older woman, big upper body, you know, a little heavier. Maybe she's got a little cummerbund here. Okay, so, you know, and then maybe she's got a dress and arms and all that, right? And then I go, okay, that. You know, eyes are here. Your photo, is your Photoshop flow too? No, not really. Okay, and then her hair and whatever, okay? But what I really need from this 
is that I know this is her breakdown cylinder, this upper section, this, and then a bell. Correct? Right. Okay. And then I'm going to sit here and go, okay, what does she look like from the side? Here's her ear. You know, and I will like look at it, you know, from a front view and just sort of pull some lines over and just make sure I'm kind of landy, but I'm not doing like anything really mm -hmm. super technical. And then what I'm doing is, you know, then she'd have a little bit of cheek in the ass and come down and have a little, you know, and I go, okay, that's how she looks from the side, maybe. Right? And I go, okay, what does she look like from the back? I can probably modify the front view and go, well, I'm going to see her hair more, obviously, in the back. I'm going to see her collar maybe up around here. You know, and then these shapes are still going to stay the same. You know, maybe she's got a, an apron on, so the back has a little tie. You know, and then I can add my other stuff onto it. Maybe this is a decorative dress. But then I'm just wrapping things around this same form this, all over and over again. Does that make sense? Yeah. I got to know my basic shape breakdown. It's, a, um, it's just how you do it, you know? But mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and do a bunch of formal terms. Right. Now, maybe for myself, if I felt like doing that for myself, and I, 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 but I don't want, I want to keep this stuff out of becoming... And I'm very aware of this because I work so much doing like, you know, toys and all this like licensed product that was always based around movies or, or cartoons or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't want my stuff dipping into that. I don't want my illustration dipping into that. Does that make sense? Yeah. I want my illustration to be much more personal. Um, oops, hang on. More personal. Um, you know, my own style, you know, my own ideas, whatever. I want it to be that. I don't want it to be mechanical entertainment design. Does that right. make sense? Yeah. And I don't like it when I see it. When I see stuff, I go, like, I'll see, I see books all the time. Like, you see them over at Stuart Eng books and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you look at it and you go, this, it's like some story or whatever, right? And you look at it and you go, this is just some entertainment guy. You know, all this stuff looks like concept paintings. I am so sick of that crap. You have no idea. I think it serves a purpose. I think it's great. I think it's not a bad career. It's a great career. It's all, all that's good. I'm not saying it's bad, but man, am I sick of looking at it. You know what I mean? Because it's always the same crap, you know? And I, I just remember this when I was at Art Center. I remember how testosterone that program was. It wasn't even a program. Um, it, it, and I just, it's not my thing. You know what I mean? Now, if you pay me to do that, I'll have a good time with it. I'm not saying that that's not fun. But I don't, and I probably said this before, I do not come home for the most part and draw robot monster warriors. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just don't do that. It's not, you know, I'll draw the coronavirus in some stupid way, but it's always stupid. It's always silly. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I just want to stay at, in our lane of illustration. I think that's really important. It's one of the reasons I really want to do this class. I want to go, I want to start planting the damn flag here in illustration going, this is what this is. Here's how broad it is, because I think that's what's exciting about it. And then like Megan, she's coming in as a graphic designer. You're coming in from a different point of view. And everybody's starting to like lock into things and do things, you know, that are like, yes, that's it. You know what I mean? It's, that's exciting to me. Um, and there's, and by the way, I don't mind teaching like entertainment design or any of that stuff. I don't mind it. It's fine. But I feel like the, like this class feels, you guys have not one time, I was thinking about this, when I was making you go through that big, long process for the watercolor, you guys not one time went, are we ever going to paint? You guys never did that. You know what I mean? You guys just went, okay, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I, really appreciate it. I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> It's really nice to be able to have a logical adult conversation with students and go and talk about story and design and all that kind of stuff. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I like those yeah. big meat and potato things. I don't, you know, drawing, I don't know, you know, uh, stormtroopers just doesn't interest me at all. You know, I love the process of all that and all that. And it's great, but it's like, I don't want to draw that stuff. It's already been done. You know what I mean? It's already been done. What do I want to do that for? And I hate drawing characters yeah. on a model. I don't like doing that. You know, it's just not my yeah, thing. Some people love it. By the way. Mm -hmm. Huh? I didn't catch that. All right. Yeah, Star Wars uh, lost his touch. Eh, I don't care one way or the other. Um, 
care about Star Wars. Um, and I get it. Those movies are fun. I get it. Okay. Um, okay. Wednesday, what are we doing? Refinement. Refinement. Okay. I want you to start going, I'm Refinement. going to finish. Okay. Whatever we just talked about, and it's on this video, which will be up tomorrow. Okay. 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 Um, oh, and I'll start. I'll put up a folder on references and all that kind of stuff. Is is the um, watercolor painting due on Wednesday too? I'll put up a. Um, I might make it like Thursday or something, just because it's you know three days out. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'll put a folder up for. And by the way, I know you're you know everybody doesn't have a scanner, so just take a decent cell phone picture of it. I've, I've been able to read them pretty well. Just don't take it in like a dark like this room, you know. <laughs> or you know it's blasting if, out light or whatever just take a decent picture of it okay? if we have like that look pretty good if we have like a person or like a question about our own watercolor paintings can we just like email you absolutely i just okay. had somebody sunday night and this is what i want you guys to do she sent me a uh email out of nowhere it's on sunday night at like six and she goes i'm really having a hard time with this character design thing can you help me out and she sent the drawings and I just went in my studio and did like a quick 10 minute video overlay and told her what my comments were. Two hours later, she sent me drawings that were a hundred times better. Okay. Okay. I want that because our classes are shorter because they're online. Yeah. But I don't want them shorter because you got to remember I spent an hour or two just doing that quick little video today. Then I'll spend another hour putting up this video and editing it and so on and so forth. But I want the, I want that interaction with you guys that I normally get by just walking up and going, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. Okay, do this. I want that, okay? okay. And the only way we can get that is if you guys are constantly sort of in contact with me, okay? okay. So I don't really see any barriers here. We're all stuck at home. I have barriers. Yeah. Okay? All right, you guys? All right, thank cool. you. All right, you guys. Yeah. See you on yeah. Wednesday. I'll see you Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. yeah, by the way, sorry yeah. for not answering on time. Uh, I always oh, you're right. Don't worry about that, man. You're doing a good job. Okay, good night.